area near where the labels are situated. So we need to write the code to do that. So let's just stop the program, get back into our IDE. So we need to go into the code now and to write some code. There's two ways you can do this. You'll see two icons just above the property, sorry, the project explorer window. You'll see view object and view code. So we can click between code, object, code, object, and so on. Now this tends to be the um, area that people kind of get confused with. We want Hello World to appear in the label, okay? But it's not the label that needs any code behind it, it's this command button. Because when we click on that command button, that needs to execute some code and Hello World appear, okay? Now Visual Basic is often referred to as a visual programming language. That's totally false. It's not a visual programming language. People get uh, mixed up with that just because it's got the word visual in the name. If anything, it's object oriented. Um, we're dealing with objects. However, um, quite often referred to, quite quite correctly, as event driven. Okay. Now, an event is something that happens on the farm. Now, I'm left clicking this, and that is an event taking place. Okay. The fact that I've clicked it is an event taking place. The fact that I've moved my mouse off it is an event taking place. The fact that I move my mouse on it is an event taking place. So all the time, events are happening within this farm. And Visual Basic is looking, is scanning for those events, basically. And once an event happens, if there's a piece of code behind that particular object, it will get triggered. So what we need to write is behind the click event of the object the command button, we need to write the code to put the text in that label. Okay? So hopefully that will uh, make some sense. Now to get to the actual code of the command button, the easiest way to do it is just double click on the command button. Okay, I'll just do that again just in case you missed that. I'm, I'm out of my program now, I've stopped my program, I'm in the IDE, and if I double click on the command button, sorry, here we go we're into the coding area. Okay, now then, you'll see that some code is already pre-written for us. Just get a couple of returns there. We've got this private sub, sub for subroutine, cmd say hello, underscore click, and open and close bracket. Okay, so it's written some code for us for this subroutine. And you will see here that there's lots and lots of different events. These are all the, event, the events that we can um, access within this command button okay now I want it on the click because I want to be able to click that command button and then the text appears okay first thing we need to think of is which project sorry which object are we targeting well we're targeting our label that's where we want the text to appear so I need to first of all say That's the name of the object that's going to change, that this piece of code is going to uh, manipulate, if you like. Okay. So I've named my object, I put a full stop in. Once I put that full stop in, you'll see a list of properties appear. Okay. Now, you can scroll through them and select the one that you want. Generally what I do is I just start typing, and then as soon as I see the object, sorry, the property that I need to manipulate associated with that object appear in the window you can hit the tab button and it does it for you uh, visual base is quite nice it's quite user friendly and it will pre-write code and it will help you as much as possible okay so i'm targeting the object label text area and i'm all i want to alter change the property caption don't forget, caption is the piece of text that will appear. So, object, property, and then we need to say what it's going to be set to. What what does it equal? Well, open our speech marks. It needs to be equal to hello world. Now that can be pretty much anything. That hello world, you could say um, yo world, or how you going dudes, or all that kind of. Um, crazy stuff that you kids write these days 
Um, that can be absolutely anything. However, that must match the name of your label pro um, object. That must be a dot. That must be caption in this case. That must be an equal sign. We must use the open and close speech marks. Okay. Okay. Enough of that now. Hopefully you've understood that. If we press the play button, just bring that in. Our window appears again, and this time when we click our button, voila. Our first ever piece of code, you've wrote the Hello World program. Okay, let's just stop that. Now the next one, we'll, we'll, we'll go a bit further with this code, and we'll look at saving our projects. Okay.